Now the story you've been waiting for, a cocker spaniel stolen from her home in Red Hill eight years ago has been reunited with her family. Vets scanned for a microchip when Cassie was brought in, pregnant with her second litter of puppies in two years. Sussex Police conducted a series of raids, recovering Cassie and her three puppies. Her owners, Stuart and Jane Wiley, say it shows how important it is for vets to scan all animals. Jane Stern reports. <laughs> She may have been away a long time, but already Cassie has made herself right at home. And for Jane and Stuart Wiley, her return in December was a Christmas miracle. I was just... I couldn't believe it. No, I was just like in shock, utter shock. I'd given up, really, to be honest with you. I never thought we'd see her again. Yeah, she's just... I think she's just enjoying all the attention. Yeah, she loves a bit of fuss. I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> When she disappeared eight years ago, the Wileys launched a nationwide campaign to try and find her during what was already a painful chapter for the family. We got Cassie because um, we lost our son to pull us all together. So it was really difficult when we lost her, really difficult. Cassie was found when police conducted a series of raids after a tip-off from the public, along with three of her puppies who came back to Red Hill with her before being rehired. They were just a bit overwhelming. <laughs> yeah, and I just thought we gave them to people that we knew would love them and look after them. What we know is that when dogs get stolen, often it's uh, to be bred from, the breeding will be taking place in appalling conditions. And those that are involved in puppy farms uh, are oft often part of the wider spectrum of criminal activity. The family is calling for vets to scan every pet for a microchip and campaign groups say checking what's on that chip is too complicated under the current system. It is quite problematic because we have a whole number of different databases that hold microchip details, and this can then mean that actually finding information can become quite time consuming. What we're really hopeful as a result of a task force that reported last year is that we're going to see a much simpler system going forward. It's been a long road back home, but there is at least a happy ending to this underdog story. James Dunn, BBC South East Today, Red Hill. Here you go, darling. Ah, oh, she looks very happy to be back home. Now, given the choice...